black window frames are huge right now, but if you're like me, you don't have money to replace all your perfectly good windows. So I'm gonna show you how to create this look and you get to keep your windows. Let's talk supplies. I used one by threes for the outside of the frame and then I used one by ones for the crossbars in the middle. And then you'll also need, of course, some wood glue, a bunch of different sizes of clamps. I used matte black spray paint. I thought it looked better than the gloss or semi-gloss, but you can choose. And then you'll need a jigsaw to cut the notches for the crossbars and a sander. Like with any project, it's really important to find straight pieces of wood. So if you're not sure how to do that, what I do is I hold up one end of the board and I look straight down it. And if you see any waves anywhere in that piece of wood, then that's not the one for you. Okay, so our first step is to build the frame. We're not gonna worry about the crossbars just yet, but we're gonna do the outside frame first. So let me show you how it fits together. As you can see, the bottom and top pieces fit inside of the vertical pieces. So now you can go ahead and measure your wood and cut it. Once all your pieces are cut, I typically just put it inside the window seal just to make sure it has a good fit. So now is the time that you can do any adjustments you need to make. Um, and trust me, you want to do them now. It's much, much harder, obviously, after you've got it all glued together. When gluing, make sure you get really good coverage on each side that joins together. And at this point, you really don't have to worry about any extra glue dripping. We'll clean that off later. But as you clamp, make sure that the frame is really square before you tighten the clamps completely. And then once they're tight, you can wipe away any excess glue. You're gonna be really tempted to remove those clamps and check out your new frame, but don't do it, promise you. Let it wait 24 hours, let that glue set and adhere together, and then take your clamps off. Now that our frame is dry, we're gonna move on to the crossbars. Once they're built, they kind of fit together like Lincoln Logs. To make the crossbars, you're gonna to wanna to measure the inside of the frame. So for your longest vertical piece in the middle, you're gonna measure from the inside of the top to the inside of the bottom. And then for your cross pieces that run horizontal, you're going to take the length of the vertical piece and divide it by however many equal spaces you're hoping to come out with. So in my case, there were four spaces and I needed three crossbars. So I took the length of that vertical bar and divided it by four. You're going to cut out a section half the width of the one by one for every spot the vertical and horizontal pieces meet. Next, you'll glue all the pieces together into the frame and secure with clamps. And make sure that the clamps aren't so tight they bow the middle bars. Y'all, we are almost done. We're at the final steps. So all we have left now is sanding and painting. When sanding, make sure that you sand all parts of the frame, inside, outside, edges, everything. You wanna make sure that you get any nook and cranny where you might get a splinter when you pick it up. So once you've sanded, um, I would just removed all the dust with a tack cloth, or you can use a wet paper towel, either way. Go ahead and give the frames a couple coats of paint and let dry for 24 hours. After the first couple of coats have dried, I would run your hand over the frame in various spots and just make sure there's no rough areas. And if there are, you can take some sandpaper, I just used 100 grit, and lightly sand those areas just to get them as smooth as you want them. And once that's done, then I would just give it another coat of paint. If after your last coat has dried and you feel like you have enough coverage and you don't have any rough spots, then you are done. Now that your frames are ready to install, I'm gonna show you my before and after. But before I do, I do wanna note that my frames don't match the grid lines on my actual windows. And that's because we were experimenting with this project. Now, if I were to do it over, I would match the grid lines on my panes and you can do that. 
um, but it simply doesn't bother me enough to completely redo it. So I hope this video was helpful for you and here's the before and after. I wanted to give you a view of the frames from the outside. You can barely even tell that they're there. <laughs>